today we are going to explore Zoho Page Sense. This is a really helpful tracking tool um, for your website and or your landing pages. So if you have a website and you would like to be able to see the behavior of your customers and track different things in order to give them the best experience, then PageSense is your friend. Now, before we go into the details, before we explore together, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you more of these videos showing you how to maximize the use of your Zoho system. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump in. When you first go into PageSense, you have your projects, okay? So whichever, you know, websites you'd like to track or landing pages, you would have a project for each of those. And here you'll see one for a website and one for a landing page. We're gonna go to the one for the website, okay? Now this can be a little overwhelming, so we're gonna keep it really simple. I just want to show you what you can do or use this for. Here is where the channels will show you the different visitors that come in, where they came from, you know, whether it was organic, direct, or from, a, you know, social media. You would be able to adjust whether you want to see that just for today or, you know, seven or 30 days in the past, or you can do your own custom range. You can export this information to CSV as well, okay? Um, the other thing I'd like for you to see are the goals. If you set up goals, you would be able to do tracking around those as well. So let's say here, homepage, 929 visitors, 80 conversions, and then an average conversion time. Let's click on that. Okay. Now this hasn't been running for very long because we had to redo our website, but here you'll see how many visitors, how many conversions for whatever time period you've chosen. And then here are your conversions. This is a table that will show you the performance by time. So the day of the week is here and the time is here. And then these boxes would be shaded accordingly to show you the uh, you know, conversions or visitors. Your uh, source type, you know, you would be able to see that here. This is saying, um, you know, the number that are direct, referred, or from a search. And then of course your visitor types, whether they're new or returning. Uh, the URL, the top web pages, whether or not they are logging in from desktop, mobile, or tablet, the countries they're from. And so this will list from, you know, like in descending order, showing you how many are coming from each country. And again, you know, you can export this information into like a CSV file if you need to be able to, um, you know, put it into a report of some sort. And then, of course, adjust the days. Okay, so you can do that for different things. That was for the home page. This is for a contact form. This is for request to join our SFS community or for services. So you can set your goals however you'd like and track those accordingly. And then the, the other thing I would like to show you, again, I'm trying to keep it really simple here, is the heat map. And this is where you can see the behavior of your visitors so that you could, you know, make decisions about your website and what you would, you know, be able to improve, what you need to change and so on. So when this comes up, um, it will show you just basically your website. Okay, how many visitors you've had and, you know, how many clicks and so on. And then uh, that scroll map. This has been really slow coming up lately. I think it's my internet, so excuse this um, very, very slow. <laughs> we'll just go back out. Um, what I did want to show you, let me see if I can... Let's go to the session recordings from those. Maybe that'll come up for us. Okay. All right. So what will happen is every time someone goes to your website, it will record and show you exactly where they are, where they're going, and so on. So this one, you can see they were on the website for four minutes. It will give the visitor a very random name, as you'll notice. Um, it will show which goals they hit and then which unique pages they went to or how many and then the browser and so on. So let's 
click on this and let me see if it will allow us to see exactly what that visitor did. All right, I'm going to click on this one. This one was on a mobile device and I just want to give you an idea. So it basically will show them scrolling through the website and whatever it is that they click on. So each of these little marks is a different um, action that they took, maybe a scroll, maybe a click. And then sometimes I have noticed, and I don't know if it's because of the type of website that I'm using, is that it doesn't always appear the way that it actually does appear um, for the user. So just take note on that. I'm not sure if Zoho PageSense is aware of this issue, but um, again, you know, it may depend on what I am using. So, all right, so I'm going to go back out and yeah, that's basically what I wanted to go over just to give you guys an idea of what Zoho PageSense can do for you. It is actually really useful. Um, you can see how many recordings you have. You don't have to record every single visitor. It gives you the option to choose how many you would like to record. Um, yeah, and all you have to do is put the snippet of code on each page of your website. They've got two versions, synchronous and asynchronous, and you just choose asynchronous. Unless you're using or doing some type of A-B testing, then you may use synchronous. Um, but just copy this code right here and paste it in the head tag of each page on your website. Okay guys, so that's Zoho PageSense. If you have Zoho One, it is included in that bundle. It is not included in Zoho CRM Plus. Again, if you are a Zoho user or if you plan to become a Zoho user and you would like to be a part of our community, you can join at SuccessfulSolutions.com slash connect.